Hello friend, welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Design Adda. In this video, we will discuss the fundamental principle behind the how a uh, spring works and uh, why the springs are very important in uh, various engineering applications. So as we can see in in day to day life also we can see the various type of uh, uh, springs we are using for the machineries, for the automobiles and for the uh, in toys also and also in the medical equipment and for the uh, home appliances component also we can see the different different types of the uh, spring we use in the uh, day to day life. So we will discuss uh, the fundamental principle behind this uh, how the spring work and also why these springs are important. Okay. So uh, actually the spring is work on the principle of Hooke's law. Okay. So the fundamental principle behind this uh, spring working is Hooke's law. Okay. So let understand the Hooke's law in detail. The Hooke's law is related with the force and the displacement of the spring. So the Hooke's law uh, is state that the force required to deform the spring. Deform means it will maybe it can compress or it can stretch. Okay. So the force required to deform the spring is directly proportional to the amount of deformation. So within the elastic limit. Okay. So the force is directly proportional to the displacement or the deformation. Okay. So mathematically we can see here the F is nothing but the force applied on the spring. Okay. So the F is equal to minus K into X. Okay. So the F is nothing but the force applied on the spring and the X is nothing but the uh, displacement or you can say the change in length of the spring from its uh, equilibrium position. Okay. And the K. K is a very important factor so we can generally call it as a spring constant or we can say generally the stiffness or the rigidity of coefficient okay so the, this k represent the spring resistance to the deformation okay so whenever we are applying the load or the, any force on the spring so spring try to regain its original position okay so it will restrict the deformation so so the k represent the restriction to the deformation okay so now let's discuss why spring are very important in the engineering application so the first factor is uh, energy storage so whenever we are applying the load or force on the spring at that time spring will deform okay it may uh, stretch or it may be compressed okay so at the uh, during the deformation energy stored in the spring and uh, after releasing the force or load at that time energy will be released so the so the spring have means the advantage of the spring is it will store the energy okay and at the at the time of loading and uh, unloading it will release okay so this one is a first factor it's an important factor for the application okay so the second factor is shock absorption okay so in many applications such as for vehicle suspension shock absorber uh, spring plays a very critical role in absorbing and damping shock and vibration okay so uh, it helps in improving the ride comfort and vehicle stability so for the vehicle stability and the for the comfort so uh, spring plays a very important role to absorb the shock and the vibration uh, of the vehicle during the rides okay so it is a, a very important point first one is the energy storage and second one is the shock absorption the third factor related with the spring is load distribution okay so the spring evenly distribute the load and force in the mechanical system okay and it will prevent the localized stress concentration so this is essential for extending the lifespan of the component and ensuring the safe operation so spring plays a very important role uh, in the mechanical system also in the mechanism of a machine okay the fourth factor related with the spring is the control movement 
okay so the spring provides the control and predictable movement in the various device and the system okay so they use in the walls switches uh, actuator to achieve the precise control over the force and the displacement okay so as we discuss in the hooks law the uh, spring is related with the uh, applying the force and related its uh, uh, displacement so you can see in the ic engine uh, like opening and closing of the wall at that time the that opening and closing uh, of the wall it's a very critical uh, situations where we need a accurate displacement of the uh, wall okay so at at that time uh, at that point also uh, this control movement of that displacement and is very important so uh, for the controlling the opening and the closing of the wall we use the spring okay so this one is also a, a very important point related with the uh, spring because it control and pre it control the movement of the system accurately the next factor is versatility okay so the spring comes in a various type okay so there are different type of springs are there compression extension torsion spring are there disc springs are there uh, leaf springs are there okay so uh, the springs uh, comes in the different varieties and the material and allowing engineers to select the right spring of the special applications so this versatility makes them valuable in the wide range of industry from aerospace to the manufacturing so we have a different different types of the spring as per the application so we need to select the right spring for the particular applications okay on there are some special purpose springs also there uh, which is designed for the special applications the next point related with the spring is the compact design so uh, the spring occupies the minimum space uh, for the deflection and the uh, delivering the forces okay so this compactness is the advantages or in the various applications uh, like uh, minimum uh, like uh, occupying the minimum space so this is a big advantage in short suppose i summarize this video so the springs are the mechanical component uh, which is used to store the energy and absorb the uh, vibration and the shocks and distribute the loads and provide the precise control in the various mechanical system okay so springs having the number of applications like in the machine machineries and like in the toy and in the automobile in the household uh, components so there are number of applications thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thank you for watching see you in the next video